Okay, it's all done scanning. Now you just gotta uh, wait while it creates a file for it, and that takes a few minutes. Okay, there it is. Now you're ready to start copying pictures off of it to paste into your photo editing software for editing. Okay, so it's going to open it up in the HP image editor and that's where we'll be able to copy the images and paste them into our photo editing software. First thing you do is zoom out and now we get to see our negatives that we've copied. This is the thing I wanted to point out and this is the importance of the light shield is uh, you see this light just attacks you everywhere and uh, anywhere there's a little spot the light is just gonna bleed in and ruin your pictures so it's really important to try to cover any areas where the light can get in and this is again why you're cutting so close to the negative you leave that space open the lights gonna get through there and bleed out onto your pictures here's the little notches that the film uses to advance and the light just pours in through there and uh, so you have to do everything you can to keep it from getting on your negative and that was why I was stressing that to that you have to make your light shield and use your you know first batch of negatives to make a use for a template but anyway so we're all set here and we've got all these pictures and these are pictures I took in Paris you know and so we're gonna go ahead and we'll just take this picture of me and we're gonna go ahead and all you gotta do is just select it and then just use copy don't cut it you wanna leave your negatives as a file that you're gonna be able to go back to all the time so I'm just gonna copy it now I'm in Microsoft Picture It. This is the photo editing software that came with my computer. So those of you with really high-end, sophisticated photo editing software are going to be able to do some really neat things. This is this is just what came with the computer, and it's what I'm using. But I've copied the image from the uh, scanner, and now I'm just going to paste it into Picture It. Okay, so here it is, really huge. So all I'm going to do is shrink it down, and then fit it onto the photo that I'm going to do and already you can see the colors look really good they look really natural and everything like that you know so all I'm doing is fitting the image onto the uh, canvas to use for editing and I'll mess around with that okay, so now I've got it placed onto the canvas the way I want it now I just want to crop it so I'm just going to select the uh, image this is just too easy. All right, so that's all I want. Done. All right, and there it is. So I just need to rotate it to where it's supposed to be. Okay, we're done. Now the neat thing about this is that, you know, there's, if you're really worried about all the dust and scratches and everything like that, there's hardly any, you know, it's really not that big of an issue if you just take a, a minute or two to get all the dust off. There's a dust speck there, you know, and one up here, you know. Not, it's it's just, it's not like it's, it's all scratched up and covered in dust and everything like that. It's really, this is going to be really easy to edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, just to, I'm not going to sit here and do all the, touch up and everything like that. I'm just gonna do it really quick for you. I'm not gonna do the whole photo because I wanna show you something really neat. So I'm just gonna do some really quick touch ups just to show you what I can do with this program. I just go to touch up and then I go down here to other photo repair and then remove scratches and then this is just really easy. All you gotta do is you just go to the spot you want, take the scratch remover, and you're done, you know. It's gone. And you can just go on and on like that through the picture and finding whatever dust and scratches you want to fix. But to me, this is the neatest part here, um, is because, you know, the, already the color looks pretty good and everything like that. 
But uh, I'm going to go over here to the level auto fix. And I've had really good results with this. And I'll show you. I'm just going to click level auto fix. And it just makes the colors come alive, you know. And I've had really good luck with that. It makes them really vibrant, I think. And uh, it's hit or miss, you know. Some of them just, you know, ruined it. So I didn't use the auto fix. I just left the colors the way they were. But here I think the colors are a lot richer and everything like that. And I want to show you something. Okay, this doesn't really do it justice because I'm just, you know, throwing this together. But um, this is how the the photo was originally printed and as you can see over the years it's faded a lot and when it was originally printed they there wasn't really a lot of contrast it was all washed out and a lot of the, the flesh tones were never there and stuff like that and uh, this is the what you can do with it now this is just using your scanner software you can get a lot of the colors and the, the flesh tones and things like that colors that you didn't have before or were lost in the original that you can now get them back which I think is really neat and then all the touch-ups that you can do and changing, if you know, changing hue and stuff like that. And uh, just whatever you can do with the picture that you want to do. What I think is a real huge advantage to doing your disc negatives this way is, uh, yes, there's a lot of companies out there that will reprint your disc negatives for you. And you have the option of leaving them on the disc or letting them cut them. Um, they change the prices whether you leave them on the disc or cut them. If you think that someday they're going to get reprocessed and printed off the disc, good luck with that. You know, I doubt it. But um, what's really neat about this, okay, so you send your disc in to have it redone. They're going to charge you $20. One place I saw is going to charge you $20 for the whole disc. That's every picture. They're going to reprint every picture on your disc. Um, you know, what do I, Eiffel Tower, gee, nobody's ever seen that before. Yeah, i got to have that reprinted. You know, wow, what do you know? Um, castle, you know, whoop de doo and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I really wanted to, I was like really excited to see this picture of me again because the only one I have of it is so old and faded and everything like that and all the neat things I can do with it now. So, um, the nice thing about it is now you've got all your negatives preserved and you're able to pick and choose which pictures you want to reproduce and print and touch up and everything like that. And, uh, so, you know, there's a lot, I think there's a lot of advantages to doing it this way. And um, the fact is that the companies that are reproducing yours are using are doing it on a scanner. You know, they're using some really good equipment and everything like that. This is just the scanner I bought at Fry's, you know, and everything. But uh, I'm really happy with the results, and I hope you are too. And I hope this helps. And if you can think of ways to improve it or better technique or anything like that, I would love to hear from you. But uh, this is what I've found so far, and I haven't been able to find anything on the internet and YouTube and Google and everything about as a how to do your how to reproduce your disk negative so I wanted to get something posted and maybe some others will start showing up